You should see how good the UV light perform in this vat cleaning. I only input 5 seconds for vat cleaning and the cured cleaning layer peel itself. Now, this is what I call vat cleaning. Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Wang and this is part 2 Coolsiga Finder 1 136 in depth test and review. The print result. But first, let's have a quick look at Coolsiga slicer. For now, the slicer is locked only to Cool Slicer. And I can get used to the slicer comfortably after fiddling a while with the slicer because the user interface is quite similar to other slicer I usually use. But this is my personal opinion. The UI color is somewhat uncomfortable for my eyes. I wish there is option to change the color theme. But the auto support is quite good. And Coolsiga told me that Lychee will support Coolsiga soon. Plate addition is very good. I tried from 15 seconds to as high as 45 seconds bottom exposure and I can still remove the object from the plate without too much effort. Let's start with the stability torture test. First up is the speed print at 1000 mm per minute. The print lines are quite noticeable as expected from such high speed setting. At 300 mm per minute, the surface is much better, but there is an issue. This printer has wobble. Now, I informed the Coolsiga developer and they decided to upgrade the real size. I have no information yet about the final size, but I do suggest them at 20 mm rail. You guys could check out their site or the Kickstarter progress for more update info, link in video description. I can confirm anti-aliasing works. Not perfect because I can see traces of voxels at some angle, but at least it managed to smooth out the voxel on real object print. And let me show you why anti-aliasing is important. Look closer at the steering wheel and you can see all the voxels or artifact lines. And arctan angle will not help if your object has multiple angle and orientation is limited because of the object size versus printer build size. Some people say it is fine, a coat of primer can hide the lines, but sorry, it won't. It will only make the lines much more visible. Or some people say, no worries, some sanding can get rid of them. Yeah, you go waste your time with sanding and try sanding this one with all the details in the way. With anti-aliasing, the surface clean and no artifact lines or voxels at all. And no sanding needed, so no time wasted. Here you can see the effect of the wobble, although it is visible with light from certain angle, but it's there. This figure body is about 14cm tall, roughly about 112 scale. I printed it with speed setting at layer height 0.05mm and it took two and a half hours. Close-up details are very soft, I can hardly tell the fabric texture detail. Next is this print at 28cm tall, and it took less than three hours. Print at layer height 0.1mm. The major facial details like eyelid lines, hair lines are looking good, but small details like pores and wrinkles are soft. Detail for suit texture is not bad. For this 26cm tall bus, I printed at 0.05mm layer height, and the print time is 4.5 hours. The facial details are very good. I see some fine line here, probably because of the high speed settings, but I like the suit details and I like the overall result. For this small steering wheel, the details are not sharp, but at least the small switch here can be printed. For Mer the Red Panda, the eyelid lines quite sharp, but fur details are soft. I can read the letters here very well. And at the back of the head, the stitching are visible but very soft. Now, for the Super Mini Mer the Red Panda, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. For my letter model here, I can read the letters very well, but they are not sharp and crisp. And for the 0.1mm letters at the top, they are very hard to read. 
At the back here, 0.05 mm letters, I can only see some shape, but I cannot read the letters at all. This one 12 scale head sculpt has quite good details, but it got texture all over the face, but that is not part of the model. Same with this letter model. The surface should be flat. Some said it is because of the ACF film, but I'm working on another test for continuing ACF film review after this video. So far, I do not see the texture from my other tests. If you don't want to miss the ACF film test, kindly subscribe to my channel and like this video. And if you want to support my channel directly, you can check my pattern link in video description. Checking the dimension on this 20mm square, it is a bit undersized. The same with this 40mm square, also a bit undersized. But I think this is because of the resin. Cool steel and standard resin has very low viscosity, the lowest I've seen so far. It behaves almost like water. And from my experience, usually low viscosity resin has higher string rate, especially if the resin is almost like water. Now I do believe there is a way to improve the details on this printer, because when I took apart the screen frame, I found this very thick protector glass. It seems like it has the thickness about 3mm. That could cause the light to spread so much, the result is losing details. Also, it could be the cause of the texture. Imagine this paper is the screen and this acrylic is the glass. Place the vat and the letters seem blurry. When I remove the acrylic, the letters become sharp. So, I tell the developer to consider to use thinner protector glass like 0.5mm thick to minimize light spreading too much and can still retain good details. And those are all my print tests. I am curious how Coolsiga will improve the product on final release after all the suggestions I made for them. See you guys in the next video and thank you for watching.